What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Young Hoop Star Man, back with another banger for you guys. And today, tonight, tomorrow, this morning, whatever time you're watching this video, man, I got another bill, bruh. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know what 2K be thinking whenever they come up with the name of these bills, but a nigga like me, man, I'm gonna take full advantage of these build names, man, just so that way whenever I do pull up, they ain't know I still got that clip on me, you feel me? Now, whenever I say that clip, I mean the greatest badge in the world, man. I'm talking about Hall of Fame range extender. Now look, man, facilitating finisher off rip whenever you do see this name, you would think that it's a playmaking and finishing pie chart, right? But it's actually a shooting and finishing pie chart and you get Hall of Fame shooting badges, bruh. Now look, man, I'm gonna go on ahead and show y'all the badge setup, all right? The badge setup is 15, 16, 15, and six. These are more than enough for you to be able to thrive on this position, bruh. Like, that's more than enough badges to be able to thrive. So, and then of course, you know, you still get that slash and takeover, man. So you're still able to go on ahead and just speed boost to that rim, man, and get them bodies, bro. But I discovered this build, but like I said, I didn't make this build. I got to go on ahead and shout out my boy Closer once again. Closer came through, man, with the build once again. He came in the clutch. He let me know about this secret build, bruh. And that's why I just want to give it to y'all because whenever I do grinding out, I also want all of y'all to be goats as well, man. So y'all can make this build. Y'all can grind it out. And y'all can go on ahead and experience shooting Hall of Fame badges and you can still catch bodies. So... Before I do go on ahead and get to the making of this build, man, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like. I would appreciate it if you would drop a comment. And then I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, man. We hit 500 subs, bro. And from the bottom of my heart, bro, I just want to thank the 2K community that's been fucking with my videos, bro. We hit 500 subs, 1K on the way. And then also, man, I feel like I don't say this enough, man. Turn on Noti Gang. Turn on that notification bell. So that way, whenever I do drop, man, you can be one of the first people to watch my videos and comment on my videos, man. Like I said, we turning up all 2020. But I'm done talking, man. I'm going to go on ahead and get to the making of this bill for y'all. All right, so to go on ahead and start off this bill, man, you're going to want to make him a shooting guard. Doesn't matter which hand. The pie chart that we're going to go with, like I said earlier, it's going to be the shooting and finishing pie chart. And then, honestly, me, I would go on ahead and go with the most speed and vertical pie chart. But honestly, it could either be between the last one or the... Hold on, let me go back. It could be between the last one or this one, but I would prefer this one. All right, so like I said on the last two-way finisher uh, build that I did make, this facilitating finisher build, bro, you have to make it as precise as I make it to still get the name facilitating finisher, bro. Or else it's going to turn into either a offensive threat or a playmaking shot creator or some bullshit that you don't want. So pretty much we got close shot. We're going to bring that up to 90. Driving layup. We're going to bring that up to 85. Driving dunk. We're going to bring that up to 83. Standing dunk, we're going to bring that to 41. Post took, we're going to bring it to 49. Mid-range shot, we're going to bring this all the way up to 80. Three-point shot, we're going to bring that all the way up to 80 as well. Your free throw, you're going to want that all the way up to 88. And then you're going to keep your post fade the same. As far as playmaking, man, you're going to go all the way up to 81. You're going to go all the way up to 79. And then with your post moves, you're going to go all the way up to, what is that? 65. Going to get 65. And then on the defense, you're going to go all the way up to 57. With the perimeter defense, we're going to go all the way up to 72. Lateral quickness, 70. And then steel is going to go all the way up as well. I lied, steel is going to go down to 72. Our block is going to go to 36. 
offensive rebound is going to stay at 30, and then we're going to put all of our defensive rebounding up. So this is the build that's going to get – oh, well, we got five left over, so let's just put that somewhere. Uh, doesn't really matter. We're going to still do perimeter defense and steal. All right, so here it is, bro. This is the facilitating finisher where you are able to get the most – badges out of your player and you're still able to get hall of fame shooting badges and the name facilitating finisher me i go defined i would go six five but honestly you can pick anything between six seven and six five but i'm gonna go with six five for right now i'm gonna go to lowest weight i'm gonna go to longest wingspan and like i said man out of all these i would either choose sharpshooter or slashing I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sharpshooter will really fuck them up. Like, if they see facilitating finisher and then they see you with a sharpshooting, like, they just gonna be like, damn, this nigga can do it all. <laughs> but nah, if you really wanna trick them, man, then go to that slashing takeover, bro. And then, like I said earlier, bro, we have a facilitating finisher, man. They got me similar to Jalen Brown, Mitch Richmond, and Shea Gilgis Alexander. So. What I'm going to do for y'all next, man, is that I'm going to go on ahead and show y'all what badges that I would put on personally for this build, bro. All right? So pretty much what I would do is is that uh, I would go on it. Oh, well, let's do it to 99 first. And look at this badge layout, bro. 15, 16, 15, and 6. So I'm going to go on ahead and get to the setup of this badge, bro. Cause like I said earlier, man, like I know y'all do want to see what the bad setup would be. And this is honestly what I would do if I went on ahead and grinded out this build and got all the badges. So I'm going to go to finishing first, man. What I would do personally is that I would go consistent Hall of Fame. I would go contact finisher Hall of Fame. I would go fancy footwork Hall of Fame. And then I would go Giant Slayer Gold. But also, if you feel like you need an extra badge, you could go all gold and then put that on slithery finisher. And this enables you to avoid contact while you're going to the rim, which is pretty much going to like give you the animation to do a contact dunk. That's basically what slithery finisher does. And then as far as the shooting badges, what I would do now, this is where it gets itchy. Like this is where it gets crazy. So I would go silver quick draw. Hall of Fame Range Extender, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame Dead Eye, and Silver Green Machine. Now, if you feel like you don't need Hot Zone Hunter on Hall of Fame, you can go on ahead and put it down to Silver. You know what I'm saying? Maybe put that on Volume Shooter. And uh, I don't know. Actually, this is probably what I would go with right here. Actually, uh, Green Machine, Volume Shooter, Hot Zone Hunter, Silver, Quick Draw Silver, and then Dead Eye and Range Extender Hall of Fame. And then as far as the playmaking badges, man, I would go tight handles. I would go quick first step. I would go handles for days. I would go bailout. And then if I'm playing the point guard, then I would go to needle threader. If I'm actually playing the two with this build, then I'll probably go with something like space creator or stop and go or something. Maybe unpluckable. But for right now, since I am gonna be playing the point guard with this build, I'm gonna do needle threader go. And then as far as the defensive badges, I would go Clamp Silver because that's the best defensive badge in the game. I would go Intimidator Silver and then I would go Interceptor Silver just because I know that I'm going to be playing the bottom of the zone. And honestly, if I am going to be playing the bottom of the zone, I could just do this for real. Rebound Chaser on Silver just so I can help out the big with rebounds. Uh, I won't really need Clamps because I ain't going to be at the top of the zone, so... Um, and there you have it, man. That is my badge setup for this build, man. And that's just my opinion. And that's the badges that I think that you would be able to thrive the most off of if you put those on this build. So if you have made it to this point of the video, man, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like. Go on ahead and drop a comment. Then come back up and drop a subscribe. Also, man, go on ahead and turn on Noti Gang, bruh. So that way, once you do subscribe and become part of the family, you'll be able to get every notification for when I go on ahead and drop a video. Once again, man, I do want to say thanks to my boy Closure for showing me this build. And 
I don't lie, bro. This is the build that I'm going to grind out to 99. So I'm going to start this journey on this build today. Once I do hit a 99 on this build, man, y'all going to see a lot more gameplay coming from this build. And we had 500 subs, bro. Like, we hit it. I'm so happy, man. 1K on the way. And I just love everybody that supports me and that's just supporting my grind and that's just supporting my movement because I've been going at this for a good five months now, man, ever since the end of December. And I ain't going to give up, man, as long as y'all just don't give up and y'all just keep motivating me, man. So, again, man, I do want to thank y'all for being a part of me. And I'm going to stop talking, man. Just go on ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out, man.